Here are the ballots for the Grouchos. Take one, pass one down. Um, how this is going to work, I need, if you want to complete it tonight after practice, I'm going to be here for a little bit. Other than that, private message me on the forum with your list by next Wednesday. If it's not to me by next Wednesday, so sorry, you can't vote. You want to do another one? We've already done one. Damn. No, this is the ballot. That was a nomination. Oh, yay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I uh, misunderstood. So, All right, so tell us, are there any uh, rivalries or any, is there anybody uh, running for the same awards? Ooh, yeah. Tim. Tim and Pajor. Yeah. Yeah. Was, well, there's ooh. been a heated battle all year long. They already had for, a, go yeah, ahead. There's a grudge match that they had. Uh, Tim won that, I think. Yeah, Tim pulled it out right at the end. And uh, I mean, Pajor basically played the villain you know, in this show. So Tim was bound to win. He's the audience favorite. And, yeah. and as far as MVP, I still think that Tim is the favorite. What are you nominated for? I'm nominated for several awards. I'm nominated for Best Referee. I'm nominated for MVP. Uh, there are a couple other awards I'm nominated for. Either way, I'm nominated for more awards than David Pijor. Uh, he's not very good, uh, so people didn't really nominate him as much. Favorite. Yeah, I definitely feel he's a favorite, but Pajor's still a little bitter, so he's been trying to, you know, do a smear campaign against him. I don't know if you saw the way he's dressed, but he's wearing purple. You know why he wore purple? He wore purple to match me, a purple tie. Past two years in a row at the Grouchos, he's matched me. This year he's trying to match me again. I told him I was wearing a purple shirt and a purple tie. He said, oh, I'm wearing green, but he decided to wear a purple tie. Like it's gotten pretty ruthless lately, and they're both up for referee, and so during the shows now, Pajor tries to um, slip Tim up while Tim's refing. Yeah. The gamesmanship can get pretty risque sometimes, yeah. violent. <clears throat> it's pretty bloody. intense these days leading up to the Grouchos. And Tim's sort of viewed as like the, the champion of, of comedy sports. He's a great guy, makes sure everybody's having a good time. Uh, and uh, Pyjor is the exact opposite. He just detracts from everything. So uh, Tim was sick of it and uh, went at uh, Pyjor, challenged him to a, a grudge match to finally decide who like, had the rights to be you know, MVP, to, to be a, uh, the hero of the day. And Tim definitely won that easily. Well, I just hope that there's no fights breaking out within the award ceremony, because be that would be <laughs> catastrophic. The winner is, oh my gosh! It's a tie! Oh my gosh, it's a tie! <laughs> between... Tim and Pajor! And Jenny and Shannon! Yeah! yelling at them. On the count of three, let's all yell thank you. One, two, three. Thank you! <laughs> very nice, very nice. Loyal fans, I hope you enjoy what you saw. If you did, please tell your friends about it. If you didn't like what you saw tonight, tell your enemies. It'll be a cruel joke. Going into that final round, the Richmond Legends jumped out and made you laugh three times, bringing their score to... I think, is that wrong? Is that right? Okay, yeah, home team is, is them. 
So you guys, all right. Anyways, um, so because the home team has 17 points now, they made you laugh three times, bringing their score to 20. The Virginia Hams only made you guys laugh seven times, bringing their score to 22, giving them the game. It's pretty cool how they presented the whole sports theme. Worked out real well. I like the show. It was great! Uh, what was your favorite part? Uh, the singing! 